on you guys. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry, too. Shame on you guys. I'm going to need to ask you to be quiet, or I'm going to need to ask you to leave. I want you to leave. You. Leave our district. Fireworks tonight at the Fairfield City School Board meeting. Several parents tossed out after demanding answers from the school board about bullying concerns. Their outburst comes on the heels of an I-team report that exposed flaws and inaccuracies in the death investigation of student Emily Olson. Nine on your side, Jason Law is live in Fairfield with why these parents began yelling at school officials. Jason. Emily Olson was 13 years old, a seventh grader at Fairfield Middle School. She committed suicide in December and initially her school district came out publicly and said that bullying played no part in her decision to take her life. But last week the I team revealed new pieces of evidence that proved the exact opposite was true. That bullying did take a heavy toll on Emily Olson. Tonight concerned parents with their own kids in the school district came to the school board meeting looking for answers. When Fairfield School Board President Jerome Kearns tried to interrupt a mother speaking out about bullying in her daughter's school, Ray Schmidt spoke up. So if you can begin to wrap that up. Come on, give her some more time. We sat here and listened to all this stuff all night long. This is important. This is the only important thing we've talked about tonight. Then when the school board continued on without acknowledging her concerns, Schmitz lost his temper. I can't believe you guys just bury your head in the sand like that. Shame on you guys. I'm sorry, please. I'm sorry too. Shame on you guys. I'm going to need to ask you to be quiet or I'm going to need to ask you to leave. I want you to leave. You. Leave our district. Mr. Austin, please. Our kids please. deserve more than that. Yeah. Our kids deserve better than you guys. We can vote you guys out the next election, but this to guy needs to, to go. Leave, you are being disruptive to our meeting. I'm going to need to ask you to leave. Gladly. Thank I don't you. need to listen anymore. You're crap. Neither the board nor Superintendent Paul Otten discussed bullying or Emily Olson's suicide during Thursday's meeting. Wendy Scalf, the mother of Emily's seventh grade boyfriend, said she was disappointed by what wasn't said. I wanted to hear that they were going to implement a new bullying program, that they were going to do something to combat this and try to make it better for the students past present future, you know, to try to have some kind of accountability. Before tonight's meeting began, Superintendent Paul Otten did hand out this piece of paper, a statement essentially saying that there would be no statement from the school district, that because of student privacy laws, Otten says, he was unable to talk about Emily Olson's case or bullying going on in his school district. We're live tonight from Fairfield. Jason Law, 9 on your side.